Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> My name is Teacher Zoe, and you are. My name is Jessica. Jessica, nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. All right, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, you just have to look at teacher and listen to teacher, okay? Okay. All right, thank you, Jessica. Now let's try to take a look with the picture, Jessica. What can you see? The Chinese father and Jimmy. Yes, they are. What are they doing? They are playing with yes, swimming. Yes, they are in the beach. And probably they will have, they will do surfing, right? Yes. Yes, because we can see a surfboard here. High five for that, Jessica. Thank you. Now, let's try to read all the things that you're going to learn for tonight, Jessica. And surf up. And our words are? Surf, surf for fat tax, balance. Our sentence pattern? Practice. Wow, that's right. Our sentence pattern is playing to surf. Surf needs a lot of practice. Perfect. Let me hear this word again, Jessica. Learning. Perfect. Okay. So let's get started, Jessica. Thank you for that. Now let's let's try to answer this question, Jessica. Okay, what would you like to do at the beach? Uh, I like to swim mm -hmm. and have a sun bath. Wow, all right. Do you also do this? Do you, do you love to build a sand castle? Yes. Mm -hmm. And have you tried to do this? No. No. Would you love to try? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Of course you can. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you for your answer, Jessica. I, 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 I am a bit interested in that. Okay. And now you got your star right away. First star for Jessica. Okay. So let's prepare. Ready? Okay. Okay. So let's have this word. Surf. Surf. Yes. Let's read the sentence. The man is surfing. Yes. So when we say surf, Jessica, that means? That means uh, the plain water. Yes. Or riding on the? Riding a surfboard on the on the waves, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you wanted to try this someday, right? Mm. Okay. So here, who is surfing in these two pictures, Jessica? Picture one or two? One. Picture one. High five. Good job, Jessica. You're right on that. Now let's try to have this one, surfboard. Surfboard. Let's read the sentence. People use a surfboard to surf. Yes, okay, so don't forget that this one is a surfboard. Okay, so what do you need to surf, Jessica? You need a? Surfboard. High five for that. 
Okay, thank you, Jessica. Now let's try to have this one. Practice. Wow, let's read the sentence. Learning to surf needs a lot of practice. You have to do it over and over again. Wow, I love the way you read the sentence, Jessica. Yes, exactly. So this is the first thing that you're going to do, Jessica, right? You need to practice over and over again. Would you love that, Jessica? Yes. <laughs> or I see. Maybe if you'll get tired, then you'll say, oh, I'll stop. What do you think? Mm, yes. <laughs> I see. All right. So, Jessica, what do you have to do if you want to learn something, Jessica? I I have to practice. Practice it over and over again. Wow. Exactly. High five for that. And then Pipak. Wow. And now you got your second star for that, Jessica. And let's try to have this one. Balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. Learning to ride a bike needs good balance. Yes. Let me hear this word again, Jessica. Right. Perfect. Okay, so here, Jessica, who has a good balance? Picture one or two? One. Why? Why he has a good balance? Mm. What's the meaning of that balance? Oh, that's good. Okay. So when we say balance, you will, uh, you know how to, to remain steady on, on a place, on or on that something. This one, Jessica. Remain uprightly. Uprightly steady. Did you get the meaning? Yes. Okay, so which one is correct? Picture one or picture two? Picture two. Wow, smart girl. High five. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Now let's try to have page 10. Let's talk. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. All right, so please read the introduction, Jessica. Timmy and Jess are at the beach. Dad wants to teach Jimmy, Timmy how to surf. Wow, I love that. Okay, so here, who do you want to be? Dad or Timmy? Timmy. Timmy, all right, all right, I'll start. Timmy, it is really cool at this beach. I want to teach you how to surf. Surf? Really? Am I finally old enough to learn su surf surfing? Wow. Okay, so hmm, I love that, Jessica. Thanks. Now here, what does Dodd want to teach Timmy? The dad wants to teach Timmy how to surf. All right. Hmm. Look at Timmy. His question is very... This one is a good question. Am I finally old enough to learn surfing? So do you think Timmy could really learn surfing at his age, Jessica? Yes. Yes. Mm hmm I see. Okay, now let's try to find out what will be the answer for his dad. Yes. So I bought you a surfboard yesterday. You can use it to ride the waves. 
you are amazing, Dad. But I am afraid of the big waves. Wow! Don't be afraid, son. Learning to surf needs a lot of practice. But if you are brave, you can learn to do anything, even things you are afraid of. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Now here is my question: What did Dad buy for Timmy? Um, buy buy a surfboard. Yes. Okay. Now let's try to use the past form of the verb since it's already in okay. the past. Okay, how how do we say that? Dad bought. Dad bought Timmy a soft surfboard yesterday. Wow! High five. Smart girl. I love that. Now you got your third star for that, Jessica. Now let's try to continue. Okay. Your turn. Okay, I will do my best. But before we begin, can you tell me the most difficult thing in learning learning to surf, please? Wow. Well, riding a wave is difficult because the wave is always moving, and you need to have good balance. All right. So why is surfing difficult, Jessica? Uh. Riding a wave is difficult. Yes, why it's difficult? Because the wave is always moving, and you need to have good balance. Wow, perfect. That's the answer. Oh, Jessica is so smart. I would always love to have you in my class, Jessica. High five for that. Not because, not just because you're smart, but you are so polite, and I love that. Thank you for booking in my class, Jessica. Now let's try to have this one. Oh, so no problem. I can ride a bike, so I think I have good enough balance. Let's go. Ah, you are such a brave boy. All right. So why does Timmy think he has a good balance, Jessica? Because he can ride a bike. Wow! Do you know how to ride a bike, Jessica? Yes. Hmm. So you are also a brave girl. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. So, Jessica. Hmm. So first thing you need to do in order to learn how to to do surfing, you need to. What do you need to do? Practice. Yes, practice. Oh, the first thing you need to have the surfboard, and then you have to practice so that you can have a good. Um. Good. Good balance. Yes, good balance. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Now let's try to go back from the top, Jessica. And this time I will be, I will be Timmy, and you will be Dad. Okay. 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 Ready? Please start, Jessica. Timmy, it is really cool at this beach. I want to teach you how to surf. Surf? Really? Am I finally old enough to learn surfing? All right. So this one, I love this question, Jessica. Am I old enough to learn surfing? Okay. So do you think you could also learn surfing at your age, Jessica? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Why not final yes? Yes, because I am a brave girl, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, but anyways, your answer is always correct. <laughs> okay, because that's your opinion. Thank you, Jessica. Now let's continue. 
Yes, so I bought you a surfboard yesterday. You can use it to ride the waves. You are amazing, Dad. But I, but I am afraid of the big waves. Don't be afraid, son. Son, learning to surf needs a lot of practice. But if you are brave, you can learn to do anything, even things you are afraid of. Yes. Okay. So, Jessica, what is the most, uh, the one thing that Timmy is afraid of, Jessica? And Timmy is afraid of the big waves. Yes. Do you think Timmy can fight for that, Jessica? Yes. Yes, because Timmy is a strong. Strong boy, right? Yeah. <laughs> He is a fighter like you. Is teacher correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, I love that. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, I will do my best. But before we begin, can you tell me the most difficult thing in learning to surf, please? Well, rising a wave is difficult. Because the wave is always moving, and you need to have good balance. All right. So don't forget this one, Jessica. You need to have a good balance. Balance. All right. Now let's have this one. Oh, so no problem. I can ride a bike, so I think I have good enough balance. Let's go. You are such a brave boy. All right, high five for that, Jessica. Ten and ten, pack. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica, for reading the conversation or sentence as well in the conversation. I am so happy for that. I love Jessica. <laughs> I love you. Ah, oh, I love you more. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Now let's try to have this one. Let's practice. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here, let's pronounce the words accurately, Jessica, and complete the sentences by using the correct word in the sentence. Let's have the first one. Balance. Serve. Practice surfboard. Yes, and let's try to have the first sentence. Learning to surf is very cool. Wow! So this one is surf. Yes. And number two, the man is taking a surfboard to the beach. Wow! That's right. And number. Three is learning to skate needs a lot of practice. He has to do it many times. Yes, very well. And the last one is the man has good balance. Mm hmm. The man has a good balance. Wow! Hooray for Jessica! You made it. You have five correct answers, Jessica. High five for that. Shanana, check check. <laughs> okay, now let's try to have this one as Jessica. Let's answer the questions with the help of these pictures. Okay, what is surfing, Jessica? Surfing is when people with their surfboard. To write. Yes, to write the. To write the. To Starts with letter W. This one. Write with. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jessica. And this one. What is the most difficult thing in learning to serve? 
Riding a wave is difficult because <clears throat> because the wave is always moving, and you need to have good balance. Wow, that's right. I love that. Okay. The waves is always moving and you need to have a good balance. Wow. Okay, the last question. What do you need to learn surfing? Learn to surf needs... Needs... Mm, surf needs... Good balance and... Uh, And uh, practice, yes. you should uh, be brave and not be afraid of the big waves. Wow, I love it. Okay, so good balance and a lot of practice, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, Jessica. High five for that. Okay, you were able to supply the needed words. Thank you, Jessica. Now let's try to have this one. What is surfing? Surfing is when people use a surfboard to ride waves. Mm -hmm, perfect. Why is it difficult to learn surfing? Because the wave is always moving and you need to have good balance. I'm amazed with that. What do you need to learn surfing? Mm, learning to surf needs good balance and a lot of practice. You should be brave and not be afraid of the big waves. Yes, the big waves. Okay, let me hear that word again, Jessica. Say waves. Waves. Perfect. Okay, now you got your fourth star for that, Jessica. Wow, I'm so amazed with you, Jessica. You were able to grasp the information right away. And you were able to spontaneously um, answer my questions, my follow-up questions. High five for that. Very good. You are so smart, Jessica. Now let's try to say the topic of today's lesson. Read the keywords and also the sentence. Okay. So, Jessica. Um, sir, surf's up. Yes. Let me hear this word, Jessica. Sports and? Sports and leisure. Yes, that's right. And our words are? Surf, surfboard, practice, balance. Wow. Okay. And our sentence is? Uh, it's? Learning to surf needs a lot of practice. Yes. Okay, so now you got your five stars for that, Jessica. All right, so Jessica, thank you so much for your time tonight. You just have to remember the, the word waves, right? And I am so happy to have you in my class, Jessica. Because you are just, um, let's say, fluent enough. And you are very comprehensive. You were able to understand all my questions and answer it without any hesitation. I done for Jessica? Okay, so Jessica, how are you tonight, Jessica? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, how's your vacation? Mm. Are you having a good vacation? Yes. 
Yes. What did you do all day? I do my homework and uh, pl play with my friends. What do you love to play, Jessica? Uh, I like to play some special games. Oh, I see. Do you know this game, Jessica? SOS? No. Okay, so this will be... Let's play this game, okay? Teacher will be S, and you are going to be O. All right? Okay. Okay, so if you form the word SOS, then you will get one point. Okay? Okay. All right, so any any combination it could be it could be parallel or horizontal okay or vertical vertical or slant slant position okay okay all right i'll start i'll have this one where is your oh oh no I got one right away. Okay, your turn. <laughs> this is all right. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll I'll be here. Okay, I'll, I I am here. Okay, I am here. Oh no. All right, so I got two points. Okay. Your okay. turn. Oh, this this is you, right? You huh? play. You add O here, right? This one is not my point. It's your point. Okay. Yes, thank you. This is your point because it's your turn who added O here. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, so one point for teacher and one point for Jessica. And I am here. Oh, no! Congratulations to us, Jessica! We got one and one. We are tied. We are both winner. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I tend for both of us. <laughs> okay, so Jessica, again, thank you so much for your time tonight. I hope to see you back in my class, okay? Okay. Don't forget my name, Teacher Zoe. Have a good night, Jessica. See you again. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you too.